Okay, I think I want to try to do a reading on Yoyoka. This little girl, she's now, I think she's 10 now. Amazing, amazing drummer. Self-taught, self-taught. Uh, so my speculation is that uh, she was an amazing drummer before she passed, and she came back in very quickly uh, for love of it, okay? Um, first thing, first card out, I am blessed. Oh, most assuredly, she's blessed. She is blessed with an absolute talent. But uh, again, my suspicion is, you know, that if people come back in and if they are, you know, these child prodigies that their former life, they were someone with an amazing talent and they come in and just pick up where they left off. Okay, let's see what else we have. Dolphin. Okay. Um, dolphins, as far as the animals they are very communicative they're very highly highly intelligent um so yeah she's very blessed very very highly intelligent really good at communication now her communication form is drums music you can see when she is playing she is just lost in it okay she is in outer space totally in tune with the music and what she is doing. Ascension. Yeah. <clears throat> she not only, when she's playing, she raises herself up, and she raises everybody else up that listens to her. Now, I just... <laughs> just watched... Um, just watched uh, this old guy, old Mr. B is what he calls himself. He's English, I guess. Um, and he's looking, you know, talking about it first. Yeah, right. Some kids playing, you know, if anybody goes drummer, it's like Stairway to Heaven. This is a drummer song that they want to do. Yeah, main female. Okay. It's all about her and her. Yeah, she's amazing amazing so anyway he you know he's not looking forward to watching this and, and within the first few seconds he's like he can't contain himself he's because he's trying to he, he's just like Because she, you know, th these drum teachers, they turn on a video and they see her and they're just like, you know, drummers that are professional just look at her like, yeah, moon. Uh, yeah, she is over the moon with what she is doing. She is a light now. And when I see moon this time, I, I see it as a light, the full moon. Okay. Ascension. Okay, um, so, yeah, the beginning of it is uh, really not surprising me at all, the cards I'm getting for her, that it's an ascension, that she's blessed, and she's communicative, and... Um, House, White House. Foundation, comfort, dwelling, shelter, domestic, resident, language, local. Okay. Well, she taught herself and I would not be surprised if someone in the White House would want to see her play, okay, would uh, have her come, perhaps Biden, 
Now, my dad's band was the first band that ever performed for a president. Okay. So they had that distinction. I'm trying to remember which president it was. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look it up again. But there was their band was the first band that played for a president. Um, so that's a nice distinction to have. <laughs> So anyway, what she knows, uh, hold, holding. Now I think this hold and holding has, uh, she's held on to her talent. She left this earth plane. She was a fabulous musician. And because she just loved it so much, she came back and immediately picked up on it. She started teaching herself to play drums at two years old. Two years. Hold, holding. Okay. Now, this is, when I'm doing political, this is my card for Trump, but definitely not in this reading. Okay. So, this is the, the card of, um, you know, higher things, hope, aspirations. So, she's holding on to those things, like I said, that she brought back in with her. Okay. Um, yeah, so what does she see? What does she see? What does she see? Dance, yeah. Dance. Same thing, when she is playing those drums, she is dancing. She is gone. I mean, she is just totally absorbed 100% and just so happy with what she's doing. Um, dance. Yeah, it keeps her and keeps her from being tied up. Dance. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. It's freeing for her, liberating, okay? It liberates her when she's playing drums, okay? So what does she say? What does she have to say? If you would ask her about this and her amazing skills, judgment, about judgment, okay? Don't judge. Don't judge based on somebody's looks or somebody's age or somebody's, uh, yeah, I don't even need these. In fact, when I pick this one, I felt I didn't need it just like this one. I don't need this card. Judgment. Um, truth is what it is, okay? Just look at it for what it is. Um, so she would say, don't judge a book by its cover. If you saw her walking around, she'd think, oh, what a cute little kid. Okay. And then she sits down to play. And she, every, every time she, she gets up to play, she takes her drumsticks. Hi. You know? <laughs> she does that every time before and after she plays. Hi. <laughs> and then she starts out and it's like, oh, my God. Okay, so what is at the heart of this? Let's see what's at the heart of this. She is uh, absolutely amazing. As are so, so many are coming in now, these prodigies, prodigies. How did I get this twice? The heart of it, again, is dance. I don't know how I got this card twice in here. But it, it is coming up twice. Dance. Dance. Okay. Uh, at the heart of it, this is dance for her. This is liberating. It's freeing. It just, she she's in the ozones with it. Okay. Um, so how does it feel? How does it feel? I don't even need the other. You know, sometimes I feel like I don't even need the secondary card. Uh, because it's, uh, yeah, um, 
I think sometimes it just kind of uh, might skew it. So when I get something so clear, we just leave it. Feel, hawk. Yes, what I get, the ascension, like she's soaring, like she's above, above everything and just, you know, and then she's like the hawk, she's soaring and then she just hones in on it, hones in on it. Um, yeah, when a hawk hones in on its prey, then it dives, it just, it just it's so quick. And that's what her playing, it feels like for her. Yeah. Yeah. The second Gary card does that thing. She's, so, yeah, she is feels like she's soaring. She's above, she's lost gravity. That she's just, you know, she. you can see it in her face when she's playing. That she is just gone. She is part of the music. Okay. Not only is she playing, she's not thinking about it. She is the music when it's going. Okay. Um, okay. So last one. Who is she? Who is she? Okay. The house I got up there um, is a, it just came into me she feels home this is her home this is who she, who and what she is the music okay um talk talk um yeah she's a communicator for this uh for the generation coming up she's one of the ones coming in and they call them you know indigo kids and things and uh yeah, she's, she's here to bring and show other ones are coming in also uh, bringing this energy forward to the world. Um, you know, more and more is of this is going to take place. So, uh, wow. Amazing. So let me get these cards up here again from the beginning that I had. So... When she's playing, she is home, um, over the moon, okay, over the moon. She's not even on this planet, you know, this is her main female, her thing. It's an ascension, okay, raises her up, raises other people up, uh, showing she is blessed, and this is her communication, okay. This is her form of communication. Um, this is her language. Music is her language. It is her soul. It is, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. And I've got a feeling if I did readings for other child prodigies like that, it will come out to a lot of the very same things, that this was who and what they were when they left this plane. They were fabulous musicians, and they love it. It, it is just what enlivens them. They come back into form very quickly, okay, and don't lose, don't lose any of what they um, took over to the other side with them when they, when they left. And they come back, and they just take off where they, where they left off. Okay, <laughs> it's like, you know, same thing. It's just known, okay? Get up there, and it's natural. It's not something they're learning. This is something they pick up, and it's natural. It just comes out. It flows. It's not something you need to learn, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. I am not at all surprised with that reading with her. Um, she is one to watch, an amazing talent. They have another girl that's in Japan, very quick on the drums, but uh, I've listened to her, and her beats are not as, what do I want to say, succinct and clear as is Yoyoko. 
she's an amazing drummer, don't get me wrong, but um, Yoyoko is, uh, by, will bypass her so easily. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light. Man, whoo. <laughs> I'm lucky I can carry a, you know, a uh, easy beat on a drum. Okay. <laughs> But that complicated, she's going, this foot's doing this, this foot's doing that, you know. I mean, really, 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 that takes a lot, a lot to be able to put all those different beats in place at the same time. Whew. Wow. I'm in awe of her ability, I have to say. So much love and light to everyone. Um, Continue to please be safe out there. And, uh, you know, music brings people together. So these these prodigies like this are, um, in a way, almost spiritual teachers because they do bring people together. It is a way of opening minds, opening awareness. You know, again, don't discount somebody because of how they look. I mean, you watch ones like the uh, America's Got Talent, and you see these people come out, they're shy, and they're kind of reserved, and they're kind of awkward looking, and, you know, uh, really don't have it together, you know, in an exterior way. And then they open their mouths and sing, and they are amazing. And you can see the judges, especially Simon, they come on and he's prejudging and just sitting there like rolling his eyes like, oh, my God, what do I have to hear now? And then they open their mouths and you're just like <laughs> sitting there going, I can't believe what I'm seeing. So I, I think more and more of this is coming forward. And um, it's it's a fabulous thing to see. There is so much talent out there, uh, but people feel have felt stifled. They don't have a way to bring it forward. You know, a lot of ones that have a lot of talent, when they're young, they may try to do something and they get, um, you know, out of jealousy. Other kids can be very cruel, and so they hide their talent they think it's not worth much. Um, you know, you can have that also in families that, that you know, yeah, whatever, you know. Um, they're not supportive. But, uh, and then these come out, they challenge themselves, and they bring it forward, and it is fabulous. So, much love and light to everyone. Oh, and... Congratulations to all the winners of the Pagan Music uh, radio station. Um, I was nominated for, what was it, Entertainer of the Year and mu Musician of the Year, something like that. I can't remember exactly. I know I'm not going to win the thing, but it was an honor just to be nominated since this is my first year of bringing flute forward, my first album. So that was, to me, that was uh, very special and really mind-blowing <laughs> to be even nominated. So I want to see who's going to win in my category. Uh, whoever it is, I'm sure it's very, very well-deserved. And much love to all of you. May you continue to have a lot of success. And like I said, I'm just happy to have been nominated. That's good for me. I'll, I'll take that, okay? So love and light to everyone. Um, if you're interested, yes, I do have the album. Um, it's Mystery Shared. Uh, very eclectic uh, music on it, okay? So love and light to everyone. <laughs>